Windows 11 on your Synology NAS. We're gonna be showing you the simple steps on how to get and download the Windows 11 ISO, and then how to actually go and set it up as a virtual machine, a VM, running on your Synology NAS. Hey, before we do get into that, I release videos every single week on all things tech, including things on the Synology NAS. So do remember to click on that subscription button and on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And one more thing, if you wanna know more about your Synology NAS, about Synology altogether, I've got a full length online training course from beginner to advanced on the Synology NAS. So if you wanna get the most out of your Synology NAS, do check out my show notes in my description to that Synology training course. Now, of course, the primary purpose of your Synology NAS is to host a whole bunch of files. And you may actually have a web server, you could be running a website, you could be running something like a Plex uh, media server on your Synology NAS, but you can also get a virtual machine, a full version of Windows running natively on your Synology NAS, which is excellent. So we're gonna go and log into my computer right now. We're gonna install some software on my Synology NAS that lets you build virtual machines onto it. So let's now log into my computer right now and show you those steps. So we now need to go and download some software to actually allow your Synology NAS to act as a host or actually act as a server to allow you to build virtual servers within it. Of course, we're gonna be using Windows 11. So what you're gonna need to do is you need to have yourself your Windows 11 ISO. So you can go and download that straight off the Microsoft website. Go and search on Google, download Windows 11. You need that Windows 11 ISO to actually be able to install it on your virtual machine. So make sure that you have that ISO. You then need to get that ISO onto your NAS. So in my case, I've actually got that ISO inside my file station. I've got a folder called applications. I've got a Windows 11 folder, and right there is my Windows 11 ISO. So as long as you've got that, let's now go and actually get that software installed. So from within the all packages area, we're gonna search for virtual right over here. And here you get a couple of results. In my case, I'm interested in virtual machine manager. I'm gonna click on this. And this is the software that we are going to use to actually be able to allow you to uh, run and build your own virtual machines. You see that the icon is, here's your NAS, here's your Synology NAS, and all of these are little VMs or virtual machines, allowing you to really build a Windows 11 VM directly on your Synology NAS. The same way that a real computer with real hardware inside runs Windows 11. Here, you're just virtualizing the entire thing. You're using the hardware of your Synology NAS to build a fully running Windows 11 installation that you can use for really whatever you need. So here it is, we're gonna go and click on install. You can open it straight from there, or you can also go into the main menu and open up Virtual Machine Manager. Now when you first open it up, there will be a wizard just asking you to set up some things. So we're gonna click on start. Now you wanna make sure that some of these items say either enabled or eligible. If you have some issues with some of these, you may need to go and troubleshoot to try to fix them. But as long as it looks similar to this, we should be able to continue with our process. Click on next. It's now asking me, well, what is the hard drive that you want to use to be hosting all of these VMs? So your VMs need to be sitting somewhere on some physical hardware. And of course, this is in my volume. Volume one, of course, is the volume that you've got configured on your Synology NAS. You could have volume two, volume three, or a different name. I've got 7.85 terabytes of capacity with this much space left. And that's the place that I want all my virtual machines to be sitting. Your cluster will then be created. You can click on now, finish. So we can build a full Windows 11 virtual machine, a real Windows 11 installation that you can then use. You can actually connect to it. You can run things on it. And it's really exactly the same as if you have your own computer set up with Windows 11. So what we need to do, is we need to go into this virtual machine area right over here and we need to go and create a new virtual machine. So I'm gonna go and select create over here, and it's gonna ask me now to choose the operating system. Now here, I need to actually go and select the operating system that I'm gonna to want to go and build. And as you can see, you can build Microsoft Windows, but also Linux and other sorts of operating systems, which is excellent. So we're of course gonna select Microsoft Windows, and click on next. It's going to select the built-in storage that is already on your NAS. In my case, I've got 3.52 terabytes free. The same way that you have a physical hard drive in a computer running Windows 11, this is gonna be using the physical hard drive on your NAS to actually go and deploy Windows 11 and run it from there. And now I'm gonna give this a specific name. So I'm gonna go and call it my 
Windows 11. I now allocate some CPUs and memory. Again, the same as when you have a real computer, you've got real CPU and real memory uh, on that computer and a graphics card. Well, here, this is virtualizing it. So it's gonna use the CPU, the memory, and the video card that is built into your Synology NAS. Now, just be aware that because it's using a snippet of the real processing power on your NAS, then when you are running this Windows 11, then maybe your NAS will run a little bit slower. So just be aware of that. So just be aware of how much CPU and memory you want to give it. But if you give it too much or too little, you can actually go and change it later on. All you have to do is power down that Windows 11 virtual machine that is running and then increase or decrease the CPU and memory as needed. So for now, I'm gonna actually go and give this two virtual CPUs and I'm gonna give it two gigs of memory. My graphics card, I'm gonna leave it as is, and then I can give it a description if I so need to and click on next. Now, like a real computer, you've got a hard drive in there. It could be a 250 gig hard drive. It could be a one terabyte hard drive. It could be a two terabyte hard drive. This is the hard drive size that you want to allocate to that virtual machine. So when you log into Windows and you go to your Windows Explorer and you see your C drive, that is the hard drive. So how big do you want that to be? Of course, you give it the right size because you've got to not only install the operating system, the Windows 11, but also as you start to go and install applications, as you have files on there, you're gonna need more and more capacity. So give this a relevant size. And of course, that will take that chunk of that relevant size from your physical NAS. So maybe we just wanna give it a 250 gig hard drive right there. Your network, well, this is gonna use my default network. So this is gonna use the network card on my Synology NAS. And essentially it's gonna create a virtual network adapter on that Windows computer. Now you may or may not get this pop-up asking you to download the Synology guest tool. It will make your user experience a lot more seamless between your Synology NAS and between your virtual machine. It says things such as snapshots and other things. So I would recommend that you do go and download that. We're not gonna cover it in this video, but download that because I recommend using it when you are trying to manage and connect to your virtual machine from within your Synology NAS. So you'll see that additional ISO file has been listed. This is that guest tool that has just been downloaded. Now, this is where we actually go and actually get the Windows 11 ISO and point it to the Synology NAS. This is the same as you putting a physical disk within a computer to build that operating system or putting in a USB stick or however, however you install Windows. Here, we now need to go and navigate to that ISO. And here is my ISO and select that. And there it is, it's now listed into there. We're gonna leave everything else as the default. So now we select the administrators that you need access to on this Synology NAS. So that could be your local users, it could be network users. If they don't have access, then they won't be able to really do much with it. You'll get a summary of what's going on and then we can click on done. So you'll see it right here. Now at the moment, this is just a shell. It hasn't really done anything. You haven't actually installed Windows 11 yet. You've just created the container to now allow you to create that VM. So with my Windows 11 selected, we're gonna click on power on. We are then gonna to wanna to connect on here. Click on connect. This is gonna open up a separate window that you can see right here. This is running just as a separate tab on my browser. And if you can see this, it's a good sign. It means that that ISO has been picked up, it has detected, and it's now starting to start the preparations to install it. If for whatever reason this has not come up, you don't see the Windows logo, it has not booted correctly, there could be an issue with the ISO or you've selected the incorrect thing, you need to go and stop that VM and make sure that it is actually pointing to the correct Windows 11 ISO. And now you just install Windows 11 the same way that you would on any other computer, selecting your language and then install. Select your version of Windows 11, accept the terms, and you'll notice that here is my hard drive. So making sure that that file size matches up to what you set up and we click on next. The installation now commences. Now this will take a little bit of time. And of course, the faster your Synology NAS, the more resources you gave to the VM, to the virtual machine, the quicker this will take. And here we have our Windows 11 running on our Synology NAS. As I said at the very start, if you want to learn more about the Synology NAS, I've got a full length training course on the Synology NAS. So do remember to check out my show notes, my description. Maybe also let me know in the comments below what Synology NAS you are running. Is it a small one? Is it a larger one? Is it a two bay? Is it a four bay? Is it a 16 bay? And also remember to subscribe, clicking on the button on the bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my future video releases. Thanks again. We'll talk to you next time.